Oakland's quarterback, Rich Gannon, on his way to a second straight Pro Bowl with an outstanding season. More than 3,400 yards and 28 touchdowns passing. More than 500 yards and four touchdowns on the ground. And Greg making his first playoff start in his career. And I said this in a pregame show. We asked him about it. He looked at me and says, hey, Phil, I'm not some wide-eyed guy that's going to go out there and be awed by this experience. Randy Jordan is in the game on third and four. That's Brown in motion to the far side of the screen. Gannon to throw. This side. It is incomplete. Jordan out of the backfield. Had it go right through his hands. And the Raiders will kick it away. Well, the one thing, these two teams played last year. Miami won it 16-9. Rich Gannon said we were absolutely terrible on third down. That time they moved people around. The receivers open. Rich Gannon was a little bit off target. On our way to the stadium this morning, we past one fan who was cruising along in his Mercedes on his cell phone. And how was he dressed, Phil? Oh, he was painted to the max. <laughs> so, you know, whatever you think, we got like some bankers and lawyers that are putting this gear on coming to the game. Gannon to throw on first down. Over the middle, wide open. Tim Brown across midfield and into Miami territory. This Miami defense, the number one thing they must do today Stop Tim Brown from coming short across the middle and being wide open. I did not expect the scene be so wide open. Watch Tim Brown as he comes across. Number 81. No defender is there. They clean the middle out. Ricky Dully, the tight end, goes up the middle of the field. Nobody inside, and you can't give that away. First down, Gannon, play fake. Steps up, throws, complete. This is Zach Crockett, and Crockett to the 40-yard line. Play fake. Gannon rolls, flips, incomplete, dropped by Ricky Dudley. Ricky Dudley will never see a softer, easier toss in his life. Well, that time, as you watch Rich Gannon make the fake, Lorenzo Brumell makes the hit on him again, and Ricky Dudley trying to run with it before he gets the football. That's the... That's almost always the mistake all receivers make, trying to get some. They, they, make, they want to make a big play instead of just taking the sure five or six yards. Third and nine. Now Randy Jordan joins Zach Crockett in the Raider backfield. Hey, Derek, you got first crossing. Oh, a little shovel pass inside the 20 to the 18-yard line is Jordan. Rich Gannon still maybe feeling the effects. This was a couple of moments ago during the timeout, and he was being tended to on the sideline. Perhaps, we don't know, but perhaps from that hit he took from Jason Taylor in the first quarter. Yeah, I saw him before that shot too, Greg. They looked like they were rubbing something on his back, and, you know, just kind of to watch him and see if it if it does bother him. Or, you know, a lot of times when guys hurt their backs, it, starts to, it tightens up as time goes along. So we'll keep an eye on it. I'll get somebody else to slam it up in there. Don't be trying to go outside. Gannon to throw. Has his man out here, Terry Kirby. Kirby breaks free across 30 and down the sideline. Brought down just across midfield. 15 for the Raiders and into Miami territory. 32 yards. Something they could not do last year against this Miami Dolphins defense. Two things. Rich Gannon couldn't get the mobility in the pocket to buy the extra time. And they couldn't do this. They couldn't get away from the uh, defenders to get some open space to run down the field to make those big plays. And we we heard, you know, we talked to Rich Gannon, and I've said it already. He says, look, i got to make some plays this game. And because he looked at that film from last year and realized he did nothing against the Miami Dolphins defense. He said we were terrible on third down, gave up sacks, couldn't make plays. Gannon. Pulls it down, now gets rid of it, and that is complete to James Jett. And Gannon took another shot in the backfield. Well, they're keeping him in the pocket pretty well, but he's completing passes down the field. Watch Rich Gannon as he moves around the pocket. And the big thing is, what's the Miami defensive lineman? The good thing is, they got two guys inside that don't move a lot, and then he delivers the pass. Kenny Mixon keeps hustling and gets a good hit on Rich Gannon. The ball at the 43-yard line of the Miami Dolphins. It'll be second and three. Third and two. Play 
fade to Wheatley. Gannon throws over the middle as his man. Inside the 30 to the 25 is Jeremy Brigham for a first down. Well, the problem with that on third and two, Rich Gannon couldn't make his mind up who to throw the football to because everybody was open. Ricky Dudley's wide open. The crosser's open. And then finally he finds Brigham on the inside. Nobody covering him. The Dolphins were playing run all the way. And Rich Gannon, I always think he's a better thrower sidearm than he is overhand. He throws so many footballs off balance, sidearm. Oh, he takes me about three times before I notice it. Second and five, Gannon to throw. Throws out wide open, incomplete to Ricky Dudley. Gannon throwing the ball behind his tight end. It'll be third and five. You talked about Bowens and Gardner. They're big, they're hard to move, but they got three guys on the inside of this Raider offensive line. Mo Collins, Steve Wisniewski, and Barrett Robbins who can match them in that size department. Gannon steps up on the move, looking for a first down, and he got it. The one thing that the Miami Dolphins don't want Rich Gannon to do is to beat him, beat them with his feet. Well, the, here's how you stop it. You know, your two inside rushers cannot be stars. They got to stay back. Look at the lane they created. One's upfield, one gets washed the other way, and it makes it too easy for Rich Gannon to run out of the pocket. Not holding hands. To each his like own. That. Yes. Weekly back in the game, play fake, Gannon rolling, hey, rolling, back. rolling. Now he's going to pull it down and run. He gets out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Close to another first down. Well, I'm not going to say Rich Gannon is like one of the best throwers in the NFL. I know he's not, and his coach even knows that. But when you take his decision-making and his ability to know when to move to get those yards, you put it all together and look at that. Him and Donovan McNabb. You know, there are some running backs in the National Football League who are envious of those numbers. First down, Oakland. Gannon pumps, pulls it down, runs, tripped up and forward to the five-yard line. Tim Bowen reached out and got a hand on him. Pick up a five, and it'll be third and three, but first we will get the two-minute warning. Two minutes to play here in the first half, which has belonged to the Raiders as they look to stretch their lead when we come back. On third and three. Gannon throws, and he is touchdown. And now, wait, it is a touchdown. James Jett with a quick slant got into the end zone, and the Raiders are on the board again. James Jett on the outside. Tim Brown was doubled on the inside. Rich Gannon, good decision, and he just stuffed it in there. Watch, it just fires it right to the body of James Jett. He makes him catch it. Get a longer mic. Gannon, over the middle, finds his man. That's a first down to Andre Risen. 14-yard pickup, and the Raiders stop the clock with 26 seconds to play. Shovel pass again. Randy Jordan. Jordan fighting for first down yardage and comes up about a yard or two shy. Jerry Wilson with the tackle after a nine-yard gain. And the Raiders use their second timeout to stop the clock with 13 seconds left. It would be about 60 from here. The pass to the outside. Terry Kirby breaks free, has the first down, and timeout is called with six seconds left on the clock. Especially today on this field. Back to you. Thanks, Harmon. Our sympathies to the Turk families. Pass is complete over midfield. Andre Risen, and what a bullet from Rich Gannon. Third and two. Jordan, the only back. He's out on the pattern. Gannon pulls it down, gonna run. First down, slides down inside the 40. First down, Oakland Raiders. Well, you know, the one thing, Greg, is, and I'm sorry to interrupt you here, but you, when you see, you hear defenses talking about, we're gonna stop the quarterback and all that. 
Gannon pumps, pulls him down, and he's going to run. Slides down for a first down. That extra little bit of offense that Rich Gannon brings to a football game. You know, Rich Gannon's doing a good job. He's doing a good job of standing in the pocket, looking down the field, trying to find open receivers. Now watch how quick he is. He's got really quick feet. Uh, I don't know about this slide, though. It's just so casual. And he, but look, at you can see he's looking to the sideline to see where the first yard, mar first down marker is. And he got there. Crockett and Kirby in the backfield. Gannon flips it out here incomplete, and Crockett wasn't looking for the football. Not soon enough, anyway. Open, six out of nine on third down, looking at a third and seven. Gannon throws this side, wide open, Tim Brown, first and goal inside the five-yard line. You know, it's Tim Brown, it's like, where's Waldo? He's always moving. This time he comes all the way across. James Jett goes up the field. And the longer Rich Keenan held the football, the farther the defense ran away from Tim Brown. Now, the one thing I think the Raiders are very good at, a lot of different looks, a lot of motion. you got to figure you're going to be in the gun sights of the opposition the next week. The pass to Terry Kirby, that's incomplete. Torrey James is a good example. They'll be talking, everybody here in the Bay Area will be talking about him. Rich Gannon sidearms it incomplete, intended for Jeremy Brigham. It'll be fourth down. You saw Torrey James smiling there on the sideline. John Gruden and the Oakland Raiders on their way to the AFC Championship game. They'll play the winner of tomorrow's Baltimore Tennessee matchup.